Hey guys, so look, this is Friday Food Pantry. Yes, but not these two, but this is. Um, these two, my mother-in-law sent over these, so I'll be making these. These are those like spaghetti squash. You can cut it up to be spaghetti squash, but I think they call this spaghetti squash. But I'm going to be making this sometime. I've already did a video for the yellow squash before. But um, I will be making this. I'll probably be cutting this up and freezing it. Or either I'll make, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it right away or cut it up and freeze it. But we'll see. And then I'm going to cut some of these peppers up. And all the other things, they're from the Friday Food Pantry. Um, let's see. Yeah, everything else is from the Friday Food Pantry. So I'm thankful to everybody who sent this. I'm but, yeah, I got some. These are called Uncle Eddie's, Uncle Eddie's, Uncle Eddie's vegan chocolate chip with walnut cookies. So I am excited to taste those. Um, sent over some gingerbread spice herbal tea and then some, oh, some green tea with lemon. So we need that tea right now, y'all. Y'all drink y'all green tea. That's good um, fighting viruses and stuff. And this these rather are honey crisp apples as she gave us on the last time oh y'all i can smell these i love it uh, apples just you know it's gonna be good when you can smell it and i can smell these my smell is kind of returning i'm doing some smell therapy so my smell is returning y'all excuse me for kind of whispering because my husband's on the call he's on a business call he's working from home today um sent over some peppers so i'll probably cut these peppers up and freeze them uh, well, Thanksgiving's coming up. I may be using these in my dressing, but I'll freeze them now because that's not till a couple of days. I do not want these to go bad. And from the food pantry also came this fajita, Mexican style fajita. Let me see if that sauce and marinade. Mm, my husband loves fajita, so I'll do something with that. Uh, let's see. Caramel apples. Y'all, I love 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 caramel apples so I got two with just a regular caramel and three with nuts i love both and we got some baby portabella or baby bella mushrooms and i'll have to see i've never frozen mushrooms so i will check on that if so i will just chop them up and freeze them um but i'm gonna go ahead and start making some of course and then we have some zucchini Got some zucchini noodles. So I'm gonna do something with that. Probably do onions, saute onions and butter. I'm sorry, saute these and some mushrooms and onions in butter and olive oil. So, and y'all, oh my goodness, lamb shanks. Lamb shank. Oh, what am I going to do with it? I don't know nothing about it. But lamb is something good, as I understand. And I'm going to make it. I'm going to look up how to make it. Never done it before. I've never cooked lamb before. But I'm going to look up how to do something with it. I'm going to do something with this. And y'all ever, I get kind of squirmy when meat looks like what it come from. And as soon as I open this up, y'all, I can tell this was a... A leg or a, I guess this, this is the ankle and the upper leg top of the foot ankle I don't I think that's what a shanky <laughs> ew <laughs> but it's just the look y'all I'm just playing because it's, it's just the look so I have to I'm gonna I'm cut it up chop it up or something so it don't look like this because if it look like this coming out the pot I couldn't do it I can't do it but I am so thankful to get I'm so anxious to I know I've tasted lamb before but I've never made it never made it and I got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So, of course, I'll be chopping that up and doing something good with that. I rarely ever make breasts whole and eat them like that because they tend to dry out if you don't cook them properly. But I do, when I make them, if you brine chicken, you it comes out really good. So... I'll probably do that, probably brine it. But sometimes, you know, I just chop up chicken and use it in recipes. So we'll see what we're going to do. But we're going to use it. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So, yeah, that is my food pantry haul and gift from my mother-in-law. All right. See y'all later. Catch y'all in a little bit.
And this is where I keep my onions, potatoes, garlic. I don't know if you can see that, my garlic's right there. Sweet potatoes, even though I have my sweet potatoes in a bag right now, I just got some from the grocery store. But this is where I keep everything, and I love this. It keeps everything out of the way, and it's in, in its own specific place, and I just absolutely love this little basket keeper. I forget the exact name of it. Uh, it is listed in my, let's see, my kitchen remodel video my reveal video so if you go in the description box there's an Amazon link to that to this rather and I absolutely love this hey guys so I am in my room and I am about to open this box this box I ordered some units so uh, someone had asked about like the different units that I wear and to tell which ones that I'm wearing like during the videos and I told her that I will put it in the description box and I had not been doing that and I apologize. So uh, I am going to be trying to remember to put them in the description box, but I just ordered some new ones. Um, so and I don't know y'all see this candy apple sitting up here, but I'm about to eat it. I don't have no business eating it in my room because hopefully I'm going to be dropping peanuts, but I'm going to eat it on top of this right now. And um, y'all know I'm a foodie. Y'all know I'm a foodie. I'm about to eat this right now. We're going out on our date later on. My husband's taking me out on a date. So I don't want to spoil my appetite by having lunch. So I'm just going to have this apple, this caramel apple with nuts. I'm going to have that. And uh, hopefully that don't do a whole bunch of nothing, you know, messing up my appetite. But anyway, about to open this up. And I also got a box in the mail. This was from a company for me to test out their products. So that'll be coming up in a video too. So... Just getting some stuff together. This is delicious, y'all. The peanuts are kind of salty. And the caramel is sweet. And the apple kind of tart, but not tart in a bad way. It was really good. The flavors come together really good. And it's a nice size, too. This was in the food pantry hall that my sister brought by from their church. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you. And, y'all, of course... I'm watching Food Network. Usually my channel, when I'm watching TV, it's usually on the Food Network. <sighs> Mr. Birthday weekend. <laughs> Happy 
birthday to Mr. And um, yeah, so we went out last night, had a date night last night, date night tonight. And we're going to a birthday party tomorrow night. So that's a fun for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So we went to the Funny Bone for our second date night. You guys, my cousin was here, Artie Fuqua. He's a comedian and a comedy show host. So we went to see him. Uh, I love comedy shows. I'm always like all the cussing and cussing that they be saying, but the show the, in total was hilarious. So we enjoyed it and had a good time. And we even got to go backstage and meet the comedians. That was fun. So that night that we were there, when my cousin was hosting, we saw Godfrey and Akeem Woods, and they were really good, and uh, enjoyed meeting them backstage. Hey! Hey! It was a beautiful night. Beautiful night. It was a beautiful night. Beautiful night. <laughs> yes, truly a beautiful night. So I, we so enjoyed seeing our cousin Artie, uh, his mother and my mother are sisters. And we hadn't seen each other in a long time. I think it's a family reunion a while ago. Oh, and here's my, my nieces and nephews, DJ, AG, Reese, and their significant others. There's Reese's husband, Rob, and there's Akeem Woods. We had an awesome time, y'all, an awesome, awesome time. So yeah, what a good night. Have a good time. Yes, yes show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very And we came home to dinner. Jayla made dinner this evening. It is what's that? Saturday night. Hubby's birthday is tomorrow. Jayla made salmon. shrimp and salmon Alfredo. She made asparagus and some croissants. Nice, nice, nice. Trying out her cooking skills. And of course, Hubby wants to watch football. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning, and I'm waiting on Jayla. Waiting on her to leave. Isaiah and Chris went to the eight o'clock service, so because Isaiah has hitting practice afterward, so we are going to the ten o'clock. So. Hey guys, so when we are on our way to church, it is raining today. I didn't know it was gonna be raining, but any raining and. Um, we got it clean this morning since COVID, like some of the families come 15 minutes before or something just do some general cleaning, like in different spots because we have three services. So different people can just kind of clean and spruce up because COVID's going on. So do that before service and then I usher today. So I won't be able to feel me near the choir on my past today. So. So we are on our way to church, and I am riding with Miss Jayla. <laughs> she <laughs> with me. And uh, then this week, early this week, we have to start. Ooh, ooh, it went in the pockets of water. We have to be um, getting ready for Thanksgiving. Getting ready for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is Wednesday. So I don't know in what order this vlog is, but like I told y'all, the vlogs are out of order. Just out of order. <laughs> so we are getting ready for Thanksgiving coming up, but I will bring y'all along for the prep process. You know, in, in, a, in a couple days. 
and I will see you guys later on. We'll catch up with y'all later. Today's my husband's birthday and we'll be going to a birthday party. Someone has a surprise birthday party today, so we'll be going to that. I might even get a little bit of that. So anyway, catch up with y'all later. Yes, Miss Taylor. <laughs> Today is Mr.'s birthday, and I missed vlogging. Bye bye. Double nickel. Double, hmm? double, nickel. The double nickel. What? I made it. Don't Look, play with me. Don't play with you. Looking good, 55, mister. Yeah. Still like 54. <laughs> you know, same old, same old. Right. That's all right. That's all right. Children and my wife was good to me. Yeah, we try to be. Turn up. Turn up for what? We're gonna turn up for some t-shirts, Twizzlers. We're gonna turn up for some orange sherbet. I did. She know what I like. Yeah, that's like. Got some cars and everything, and we went to the comedy show last night. So now it's time to eat. Good birthday. Monday morning YouTube fam. I am back to my regularly weekday eating schedule. So I am having my nine grain bread and avocado with the everything bagel seasoning on it. I don't eat this every morning during the week, but this is what I'm having this Monday morning. Got some orange juice. I didn't want to put tomato on because I'm going to be using the tomato later in guacamole. I'm going to make some guacamole dip. So I'll be using that. I just didn't want more tomato and i'm not super fond of the um market the the grocery store tomatoes got spoiled on our garden tomatoes but of course they have stopped producing for the summer so yeah i like to have the tomato from the grocery store mixed with other stuff if i, if I just have to have it so all right i am editing and then also having my vitamin D and magnesium and then later on I'll do the vitamin C and the um, zinc closer to dinner time I'm going to have my multivitamin also and I'm doing my smell therapy I've started on this y'all this y'all helps so much it works for smell therapy or sensory therapy when you have lost your sense of taste and smell from COVID so the coffee and and different smells it helps so much and I'm also doing my um, planning for the week so my date is wrong up here so don't pay no attention to that <laughs> but yeah I kind of went over from last week but getting my day started I was gonna tell you to what mama made for dinner so this is dinner today we have rice zucchini spirals mushrooms onions and chicken and the great cranberry juice they don't quite like their stuff mixed up, so. <laughs> All right, uh, we're finna eat. <laughs> they outside. <laughs> Jalen and Isaiah. I said I'm making a video for for Isaiah's school project. So the glass is all foggy and everything because it's nighttime, but. Lord have mercy, them children. Flashlight somewhere? Oh. <laughs> Y'all look so cute. <laughs> That's so sweet. We're helping her little brother with a school. Mom, flashlight, please. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, I got hours. Hey guys, so it is morning two and I'm having the same thing, having avocado toast with everything bagel seasonings 
and my water, my orange juice, um, the vitamins, and yeah, getting ready for the day, looking up videos for a vegan pound cake. I want to try that and um, doing some YouTube work. So getting started for the day. Hey guys, so I have started my Thanksgiving dinner and yes, it is a hot mess up in this kitchen. <laughs> so I made my dressing a little different this year. Uh, I didn't bake the chicken. I used chicken from uh, Sam's and just brought chicken broth and mixed it with the chicken juices from that pan. So I made it a little different and but it's still going to be good. Also, my yams are boiling for the candy yam or sweet potatoes. And then that is my little mixture for my dressing. I just have to put it in the cornbread. But doesn't that look delicious? I love a pretty dressing. I don't like just beige dressing with no color or no look to it. Like it's not flavorful or something. I love flavorful dressing and I love mine. Uh, so if you all want to see a dressing recipe, it's semi-homemade, just to warn y'all ahead of time. It is semi-homemade, and but it is so delicious. And I will link that at the end of this video. Also, I am not a turkey person. I will eat it like a fried turkey or a smoked turkey or something like that if, somebody, if someone else makes it at their house. But I do not have to have it here at mine. I don't like turkey like that. So we are, ha I bought an extra rotisserie chicken from Sam's and we're having that and we're having steak and I'm making it like my roast. I'm about to put cream of mushroom soup on it. I seared these so they're not totally done. Just sear on the outside, season, got olive oil on them and seasoning and a little bit of butter and I'm going to put cream of mushroom sauce on it, cream of mushroom soup, I'm sorry, on top and I'll probably mix it with cream of chicken and i will just slather it on top and it makes it so tender and i'm going to put scattered onions on it and the juices out of the pan that i seared it in with a little um liquid smoke and just a little bit of teriyaki and that's going to be so delicious and this is my cornbread that's made for the dressing so here are my yams you guys that came out really good and here is my mac and cheese. It's not finished yet, so that's why it's looking a little dry. I still got to put the sauce on it. And then here is my um, dressing. And here's my mess. <laughs> I got to clean up. Ah! So, yeah, Thanksgiving's tomorrow, and I am so tired. And, yeah, got a little ways to go, then I got to clean up. And this is the last thing that I made. A strawberry cake I did not make it like I usually do I usually make two round cakes and stack them together split them in between and have layers of icing and cake but y'all the icing's homemade it's good cake and that's gonna be it one layer of cake and some icing I was tired y'all it is 12 31 at night i started at 2 30 cooking i did eat some lunch so i took a small break but yeah all day cooking and it's finally done <music>
is Friday night, the next day after Thanksgiving. And we are watching King Richard. Whoop, whoop. I'm eating some leftovers. <laughs> There's Miss J. She is on her way out to an employee dinner or get together. I like that. <laughs> Like that. Where'd you get that shirt? I like, I like that. I know you do. See ya. Now, where you get it from, girl? I got it from Shein, mama. Oh, okay.
ain't worried about what you gonna put on. You, you trying to figure out which one to put on. Right. I, 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 I don't know if I'm wearing my red dress or my black dress or my blue suit or my blue jeans or you know just dress down or my tennis shoes, my cap. You know why we can pick and choose like that? Because God has been. Yeah. I can't hear nobody. God has been. Good to you to the point where you don't have to worry about what she gonna eat. You got you got a refrigerator full of food and a freezer full. God tell you neighbor, God been good to me. Don't worry about it. He says, don't worry about it. God will provide for you. Yes, he will. Because God will make sure. Yes, sir. Whatever you need. Yes, yes. He'll supply for you. Yes, he will. Paul said, For my God shall supply all. All. Not some, but all of my needs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, but watch it, but it's according to his riches. To his riches. Yes. Yes. In glory. So Paul said, Don't, don't worry about it. Mm. Look at the second point. He said, don't worry about it. He said, pray about it. Uh, uh, Y'all hear Paul? Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Don't worry about the situation. Mm. Paul said, pray about it. He said, prayer becomes the antidote. It, 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 it's the cure for anxiety. It's the cure for worry. Paul's focusing more on, in verse 6, he focuses more on the priority of prayer and the attitude that we should have when we pray. Watch this. The text says, in verse 6, he said, now, tell your neighbor, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't, worry, about it. don't, don't worry about it. He says, but in everything. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, when you read the Bible, there are certain words you just run over. And I've read this passage, I don't know how many times, I've never got stuck on everything. Right. I, I, I get stuck on prayer, I get stuck on supplication, I get stuck on thanksgiving, I get stuck on... I never get stuck on everything. But right now, I'm stuck on everything. Because Paul said, when it comes to prayer, I can take God. When it comes to prayer, I can take to God everything. Yes. Yes. Not just some things, but, but everything means all or any or the whole. I can take all of it to God in prayer. Yes. I can take any of it to God in prayer. I can take the whole problem and give it to God and God will work it out for me because he's that kind of God. God knows how to work out what you're going through. Yeah. So in everything, in everything, in everything, watch this, by prayer, word prayer, it, 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 it gets my attention. But here, here's what Paul is assuming. The assumption is when we get in trouble, we take it to God in prayer. The idea is when I get pushed up against the wall, I go to God in prayer. Now, the reason why I take to God in prayer is because there's something about prayer now prayer is no game, prayer is no gimmick. Prayer is a communication, prayer is a relationship that I have with God. Prayer is a privilege that I have to come to God. Don't you ever miss out daily on talking to God in prayer. You can't go through the week right on Monday's prayer. Hey. You need a Tuesday prayer to get you through a Tuesday. I ain't somebody here who understand. I need a Tuesday prayer. I need a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday prayer. I need to make sure my life is engaged, giving God worship in prayer. Watch this prayer. 
prayer, when you deal with this word prayer in the Greek language, you, you get the word worship. Because that's what we're doing in prayer. We're worshiping God in prayer. Yes. And so when you worship God in prayer, you need to know how to address God. Okay. Bible class, y'all remember years ago, I taught you all the acts when it comes to prayer. Adoration, confession, yes, sir. thanksgiving, yeah. supplication. I, I'm just going to start with adoration. Yeah. Because see, when you take things to God in prayer, before you start asking, because we're good at just asking God, well, God give it to me. God, I need it now. I'm broke, God. You got to fix this thing. Let me share something with you here. God doesn't fix your stuff just because you prayed for it. You don't understand that. God fixes your stuff because it was in his will to fix your stuff. So you, you have to pray in the will of God because some people think you can you, you just ask the dog. I, I told Eddie Clark, I tell you, God is not your Santa Claus. I didn't get away from here. Thank you, Lord. God is not your sugar daddy. Amen. That's right. I didn't get away from here over here again. They came they, they over here. God is your daddy. And God does not give you what you want. God gives you exactly what you need. So, in, in, in my reaching out to God, I need to know how to adore Him. It's called adoration. You, you ever spent time in prayer oh, and all you've been doing for the past 10 minutes is just adoring God? Amen. I don't think we do that enough. Right, right. And see, to adore God in prayer is to worship God for who He is. Thank you. See, prayer, prayer is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Because Paul is teaching us how to pray and pray right. How to pray, watch this, and come into the peace of God. Where I got trouble in my life. I got hell in my life. I got chaos in my life. But I'm not worried about none of that because God somehow gives me Amen. But you said I got, I, I, I got to adore him. Yeah, yeah. I got to spend some time making over on God. Uh -huh. Because God is good. Yeah. Come on, y'all. I'm not going home. God is great. Yeah. Come on here. God, have you ever just thought about God? He's excellent. Marvelous. He's wonderful. I mean, y'all, he's my way maker. Thank you, Lord. He helped carry the load for me. God is good to us all the time. And Paul said, in everything in my prayer, make sure in your prayer time you give God adoration and worship God for who God is in your life. Yes, yes. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord, uh -huh. ain't no telling. Yes, if it had not been for the Lord, yes. you, you, you may have lost your mind by now. But your son is, God keeps giving me what I need day after day. Watch this, man. We've come this far by faith. Y'all fly pretty here. Yeah. Lay it on the Lord. Yeah. Trust it in his holy word. Yeah. Watch it. He never failed me yet. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, oh. oh. <laughs> Can't turn around now. Can't give up now. Can't throw in the town now. Can't jump the ship now. We come this far. He said everything by prayer. Supplication. To the Wednesday. 
He says, now you gotta add, you gotta add something to that if you're gonna pray right. He said, you need to throw in some thanksgiving. Amen. This, this is your prayer now. You, 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 you need to just spend some time in worship and, and tell God thank you. I'm going to say it again. We, we, we need to spend time privately telling God thank you. I mean, do you all know how good God has been to you? You all tell him thank you. I mean, just a little small thing that we take for granted that yes, y'all tell God thank you for. Like, Lord, you didn't have to do it, but you did, but thank you. You, you woke me up one more time. Watch it. And you woke me up on time. And what my alarm clock. Help me somebody. But old folks said, you touched me with a finger of love. And somebody ought to tell God, thank you, son. Hey guys, so it's Sunday. It's three days after Thanksgiving and we are having leftovers. Um, we have part of a rotisserie chicken. My husband just likes to eat. He like, Well, not just likes to eat, but there's some cut up meat there. But he loves to get near the bone and stuff too. So I gave him this last half and uh, there's more meat in there if he wants it. But he likes to get down to the bone meat. And this is my plate. And this is Isaiah's. And still drinking on Kool-Aid. And there is only one piece of cake left. Well, possibly two. Good morning, guys. It is a... Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning, afternoon. <laughs> it's about 12 noon. I am just coming down to eat. Uh, today was one of them mornings that was hard to get up. I know I told y'all about the kind of last that fatigue I've been having after COVID. And sometimes you can't control what day it hits. But today was one of them where I just could not wake up right and could not get up. So... I'll give you an instant, for instance, 7.30, I was thinking, okay, you got to get up, got to get up. I really need to be getting up before then. But this morning, you know, I woke up at 7.30 and, and my mind was like, get up, Tracy, get up. You know, you need to do some stuff, a lot of stuff, actually. You know, you need to do a lot of stuff. You're going to be mad at yourself if you don't get up. And I was, I kind of go in, on those mornings when I have that fatigue, I go in between a half sleep half awoke state sometimes I think I'm awake but I'm not it's, it's weird it is weird so um so I'm thinking okay I gotta get up gotta get up and when I go to actually sit up it's 8 30 not 7 30 when I'm thinking it kind of still is I had went back to sleep for an hour and got up at 8 30 so this is just just off off so anyway I got up I oiled and greased my scalp, moisturized my hair, um, under, it, and someone had asked me to put the unit that I wear, so I will put this unit down in the description box. Uh, someone can ask me about that. Put the units down there, so I will do that. Um, let's see. What else did I do? Answer some comments from uh, videos and people comment on my videos I answered back I got behind in my comments so y'all I apologize that I'm trying to catch up um, what else I did a couple things but I have a lot to do today a lot to do today um, we are going to go and get something to eat I'm thankful for that because I don't want to cook today I don't want to cook today <laughs> so happy about that but we're going to put up the Christmas tree later um, right now I am about to eat something I'm putting up some dishes my kids wash the dishes but I put the dishes up because sometimes no telling where you're gonna find your stuff and you can't find stuff I like for my stuff to be where I originally place it so when I go to look for it I can find it right away I do not like when stuff is out of pocket in the kitchen and I cannot find my stuff um let's see oh I have got to find some kind of a dip a healthy dip 
for my apples. We have a lot of apples, small and big honey crisp. And I got some oranges. I need that. I got to cut that pineapple. I've had that pineapple for about five days and it should have been cut maybe two days ago, at least about three days ago. So I'm hoping I can salvage some of it, but it's, it's, ugh, I'm so upset about that. Um, just pineapples don't be cheap, but I do think I got that one on sale. Um, so yeah, just putting up the dishes and one of my apples have already gone bad. So, well, not the whole thing. I can just cut a big chunk of that off and the rest would be okay to eat. I think I'm going to do that for breakfast. I'm just going to cut right through there and I'm going to eat this, this half because this is still really good. Um, putting this Kool-Aid picture up because we are not about to have no more Kool-Aid for a while. Um, I love, absolutely love Kool-Aid. We used to drink Kool-Aid every day, y'all. Every day for dinner. And we've gotten away from that because I know it's not healthy. It's not so we mostly drink water sometimes something else like some kind of juice or something but mostly water and we really got to try to stick to that so i brought this out for thanksgiving it's going back and probably won't be back until christmas might have some yeah we'll have some kool-aid on christmas this is a, like a double um batch of kool-aid and i mix this with the tropical punch kool-aid and the lemonade kool-aid oh so good so good. Anyway, let me fix me something to eat. I'm going to finish putting this up and then get to eating. So, for breakfast, I am having let's see if I can turn it around. These Quaker Raisin Date and Walnut. Having that. Uh, and this is what I like about this. It says whole grain oats. Oh no, it says sugar. This is just the one. It used to didn't say sugar in it. Oh, oh man. Ooh, I need to put some water in there. Some more water. It's a little stiff. I don't like them quite this stiff. So I'm gonna put a little bit more water in here. Okay, that's better. That's better. Remind me of <laughs> them stiff grits. When I first pulled them out, reminded me of Florida Evans on Good Times. Y'all remember when Florida would make them oat, that oatmeal every morning. And JJ and Thelma and them, they'd be looking at that oatmeal like, oh my gosh. And it'd be stiff as I don't know what. But uh, anyway, here's my oatmeal. I am going to fill up my water bottle. So we have a water filtration system here. This is our regular faucet and then we have a water filtration system, water purification. So this is the drinking one. And this one is purified too, but this one is like super purified because it's the drinking water. No, you can drink out of this just like a water faucet, except it's not super cold or anything. It has a chill on it, but it's not cold. So I still put ice in it, and I, the ice cubes that we use, I use this water for the ice cubes. I really should have put the ice in first. That's the best way to do it, but I didn't. So... I just got the ice cubes out the freezer and I love this wide top I've had bottles before where I had to melt the ice down but I love this and so the water stays cold all day But I usually try to do at least two and a half of these, but I don't always get to that. I do not. So anyway, if I even if I just drink one bottle, it's cold all day.
and back downstairs in my little office area trying to get it organized after COVID because I really haven't been working down here. Um, um, I need to get back down here and centrally located in one place and stop putting everything everywhere. So I got a basket to go through and I have emails to go through. So I will be down here today for a while. And let me show y'all. Sitting on a flare down here. <laughs> Sitting down here. Upstairs we are getting crowded. Our, um, closet space. So have some extra space down here to put clothes. Extra closet space in the basement. So I just bought this y'all. I wanted to show y'all my little my little mini haul. <laughs> we went to K and G the other day. I'm kind of glad I did. I was looking for some on sale. That's what I wanted. But anyway, I won't show this yet because I am gonna do a um, outfit idea video coming up soon. But I found this. I have been looking for something that I could wear to like casual things that we might be invited to or whatever. And it's not a dress, but it comes down like right to the bottom thigh it's above the knee but bottom thigh is more like a sh it's a shirt dress and like i said i won't take it out out because i'm gonna wait for the reveal but it was just 19.99 but i was thinking y'all that kng was having a sale you know how they send around those little texts and stuff and i read the text wrong it's 50 percent off on your next visit and your next visit have to be within a certain time so this was not on sale but i found these things that i really absolutely wanted and uh my husband was like i was like but they're not on sale my husband's like you want it so yeah he said get it <laughs> so i got it because <laughs> usually husbands be like well don't no you don't need this and you don't know he said you, re you really want it i said yeah he said get it i said okay no need to say nothing else so these were $34.99, not on sale. They was near the clearance area, and that's one reason why I went over there. But I just think these are so cute for the summertime. I love these. Love these. Absolutely love these. They're so cute. They're so cute on. Yes. So anyway, they $34.99. And they only had, I think, one more pair in my size. I wear a nine and a half. Sometimes I can get a nine, but I'm just real good in a nine and a half. So, got a nine and a half. And they only had one more pair that I saw. I know one definitely, possibly two, but I know definitely one more pair. So, I was like, even if they go on sale, you know, in a little while, I might miss out because people might, you know, get these before they go on sale or whatever. So, anyway, got them while I saw them and I got this. I think this would be so cute with some leggings and some ankle boots i always call them booty boots i don't know why but they would be so cute with ankle boots and leggings really cute some cute jewelry all right that's my little haul so i'm over here y'all decorating pages <laughs> i just felt felt artsy all of a sudden so anyway doing some planning uh in my planner for december and Filling in stuff that, that I have to do. Catching up on videos. And still got it, this whole basket to go through. And I also have to finish decorating upstairs. So, Hey guys. So this is a little DIY dinner tonight. I'm just taking the roast. Um, the roast. The rice that we have from Thanksgiving. And the roast. And this will be for me and the kids. I had roast leftover or steak rather leftover and it's juices and mixed vegetables I just did the steamables in the microwave real quick dinner just warm this up warm this up and heated that up and i'm going to put it in here it's just going to be something like a soup or a goulash and i'll show it to you when i get done i am putting the beef and i just cut it up into chunks instead of the strips that were there and I'm just going to ladle the juice over. It's going to be a lot of juice, actually. I should get, yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm going to get the ladle out. <laughs> and just ladle it all in there. And put the vegetables on top. And here it is. So good. I know it's going to be so good. I didn't taste it yet, but I know it's going to be good. Because the rice was good. The steak was good. And the broth, of course, on it was good. 
these are the mushrooms and onions that were in it and i just put the mixed vegetables on top and a roll a dinner roll to go with it and we went to red robins yesterday and this is the strawberry speckled lemonade i got extra strawberries in it so it's been sitting in the refrigerator just getting even sweeter so i'm about to chow down Jalen stopped by the mall after work. Isaiah is asleep, taking a nap. I think he's up now um, doing his homework. He'll be down to eat a little later. And Chris went to visit his mom. So I'm going to do him one in chicken. His is going to be rice with chicken and vegetables. But I am about to eat. I am starving. I am decorating for Christmas. And I have worked up an appetite. 